What's up guys, Junkyard Junkie back here with another video. Today we're going to be replacing a catalytic converter. The code is P0421, catalyst below efficiency. And first we're going to go take a temperature reading underneath it. And we're going to be using a temp gun. You can pick one up for about 20 bucks at Harbor Freight. You can also use live data uh, to check the O2 sensors, which I've already done. And I know it's the... Uh, catalytic converter and not the O2 sensors. So let's get started. So on this 2010 you're going to have three bolts holding the back side of it. You've got two up there with springs and you got to take out both oxygen sensors. Okay, to take this off, this is one of my favorite tools. You can actually buy a kit. This one little wrench right here is what I use 90% of the time. It gets on there good, it gives good leverage, and it's just a great tool. I'll link it in the description. Okay, so all you're going to do, come up here, like that. Let Lucy. That actually came free a lot easier than I thought it would. Still pretty hot to the touch. Might have to wait until it gets a little cooler. Yeah, because it's loose. Okay, we're going to add a little PB blaster. Give that a few minutes to soak in. There we go. The PB Blaster did its job. It's actually turning more. Now that you've got that out, I want to take off this one 10 millimeter bolt right there. We just gotta take off the front O2 sensor. I'm gonna lower the car and actually go in through the front. It's easier to get it from the top, so I'm not gonna record that, but you have to take that out before we go to the next step. It's the same procedure though, just minus the 10 millimeter bracket. Okay, so there is one more 10 millimeter bolt right here that's holding this O2 sensor on. It's hard to see. Literally right there. Let's see if I can. Right 
there. So take that off and take the top one off and we'll be ready for the next part. Okay, so right here at the front of the cap, there is two 14 millimeter bolts with the springs. Let's go ahead and take that out now. Okay, so there's three 14 millimeter bolts that have nuts on them. So you just want to take a wrench on the back side and zip them off on the front. Okay, so I got all three out but I did have to use a bolt extractor on one of them. It was just too bad rusted. And that's a common problem with exhausts. This is what it looks like. It's fluted. And I will leave it in the description just in case you need them. They're great to have. They're, I wouldn't have been able to get it off without torching it off without this. This is the aftermath of using one of those extractor sockets. It actually bites into the nut, so it is not going to be able to be reused. Okay, to get it off, we're actually going to let this hang low. So we're going to take this off. And we're going to use a new tool I actually haven't got to try yet. It's a little exhaust hanger thing. So, you should just be able to put it right behind there. Anybody that's done these know it's a pain. And that's, that's just nice. That worked extremely well. I'm very happy with that. I'm gonna do it to the other side. Just put the middle right there on it. All right, now that it's hanging, separate it. That gave us enough room to separate it. So now, you're just gonna pull it on out. Okay, so all we're going to do is take this heat shield off. There's 10 millimeter bolts pretty much everywhere around it. Just
we're just going to switch that over. Okay, so unfortunately the aftermarket one doesn't have all these brackets, so we won't be able to use the heat shield. But before you put it in there, it's easier just to go ahead and take these out. Uh, this is a 516 Allen wrench. Spin it loose. We'll go ahead and install it after that. Okay, so now we're just going to do reverse of install. So make sure these holes for the O2 sensors are facing up. We're just going to slide it right through. like that okay so now we're just going to take and screw these back on a little bit Okay, so now we're just going to install both of these hangers. Uh, just simply take, push it back on there, and then there you go. As soon as it goes over that nipple, just do the same on the other side. Okay, so I had to go get, find another little nub, but you can pick it up at a hardware store. Uh, I'm just going to put that on there. It's got the same threads. Now we're just going to get them all tight. Everything's good and tight. And then we'll just go to the front. Okay, so now we're just going to tighten these back up. Alright, that one's tight. Now they're good and tight. So now we're going to work on putting the oxygen sensor in. 
Okay, so now we're just gonna put the oxygen sensor in. A little trick, just turn it the opposite way a few times. So help it go in a little easier, get it straight. Spin it on in. All right, and we'll finish it off with that. Just make sure you get it good and tight. Okay, now we're just going to do the same for the top. I'm not going to show it once again. It's hard to get to. Well, it's not hard to get to, but it's hard to film. But you'll be able to get to it easily. Okay, so now we're going to check the temperatures again. 230. About 230. Okay, now on this one. Okay, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.